Pablo Escobar was a drug dealer whose cartel, at the height of its power, controlled 80% of the smuggled cocaine into the USA. He is attributed to several bomb attacks, such as the explosion of the DAS building on December 6, 1989, 52 dead and thousands injured, and the bombing of Avianca Flight 203 on November 27, 1989, 110 dead. But how much money actually Escobar made during his life? Escobar earned a large amount of money, which he enjoyed in a lavish manner. Reportedly, he owned 141 homes, managed 140 planes, used for operations related to the drug trade, as well as for leisure, and had 32 yachts. He indulged in extravagant clothing and jewelry, wild parties, but he also had to hide his money. He concealed piles of cash in walls, under the floor, in fields pits, or in Swiss bank accounts. El Pablito also owned submarines through which he smuggled drugs into the USA. Reportedly, he earned so much money that he spent roughly $2,500 per month on rubber bands. He used them to bind the enormous bundles of money he earned. It is presumed that the cocaine king was the wealthiest criminal in the world and one of the richest individuals globally. Until his death, he amassed a fortune estimated at approximately $30 billion. Today, this value would be roughly $70 billion. Illegal drug trafficking made him over $400 million per week. In comparison, Elon Musk made around $300 million per week in 2023. El Tsar de la Cocaina, or the Tsar of Cocaine as many called him started with crime early on in his life. Stealing tombstones from cemeteries and grinding off names to sell them as new. He began associating with gangs, stealing cars, and employing people to kidnap innocent individuals for ransom. Car theft led to his first arrest in 1974. Around that time, the cocaine trade was booming in Colombia, and Pablo Escobar got involved in drug smuggling. It didn't take long for him to co-found a criminal organization, later known as the Medellin Cartel. Pablo Escobar loved his homeland and contributed to improving and developing parts of Colombia. He helped build roads, hospitals, power lines, housing for the poor, and football fields. He sponsored football teams, earning him the nickname Robin Hood for his activities. Over time, Pablo Escobar ventured into politics. He played a role in founding the Colombian Liberal Party and, in 1982, was elected as an alternate to the Colombian Congress. However, he was also a secret drug dealer. As he became increasingly well-known, his political activities were interrupted when the public learned about his criminal activities. After his death in 1993, a rival drug cartel, the Cali, took control over the territory.